Good morning. Hi. Welcome back. We're not out at the beach today. We're in different parts of Queensland. So setting up through Zoom. It's really cool to still be able to come to you together, actually, like this. Um, so we've got a special event, movie night, movie night this Friday night. And uh, we're very excited to be sharing with you a screening of the Wisdom of Trauma, which is only available for a few days. We did attempt to organise uh, a, hosting, a hosting of it. And um, as many, many other people attempted to do as well, and they got back to us and said that they'd had such an overwhelming response to offering hostings that, um, that they were going to open it up uh, again for another three days. So that's how we can access it and share it with you on Friday night, 8 p.m. Brisbane time. Yes, it's very exciting. Yes, we are. I was just checking that we are live, so that's good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's going to be really awesome. So get your jammies, get your... <laughs> um, yeah, just... Cuppa. Get, get a cuppa and come and join us. And we're going to be having a chat afterwards. So, so sharing insights and... Uh, yeah, what, you, what your thoughts are on all of this and, you know, answering questions. So, and what's yeah. really, really cool about this doco and Dr. Gabor Mate's work is that him and, and more and more people now are taking it back to childhood, looking at childhood, our experiences, and um, whereas... In the past, not many people were doing that. So it's becoming more and more into the mainstream now, which is awesome. Yeah. And they've been taking it back to childhood and getting this understanding of um, where, where these belief systems, where things that you started to believe about yourself first happened. And... When, when you do that with the, with the process that we use with the ladies in our course and the ladies that, the mums that turn up on our calls, the beautiful part about the process that, I, that we use at the Awakened Parent, which is Faster EFT, is it does re also release. It has the tapping process, which also um, has a releasing uh, component to it. And then we can also change really how it's represented in the mind and that sounds really weird and you've kind of got to come and experience it the ladies that um comment below this video if you've experienced it and you know what i'm talking about uh because you know and i have um i had somebody yesterday for the first you know doing this process for the first time and it really is quite amazing to know that you can release things from from the body and how powerful and impactful this process is um because they they go oh oh i can't i can't it's just i can't bring back the emotion you know so to let go of you know 20 years 40 years of guilt um that you've been <laughs> accumulating in, in the way that you do do stuff to yourself because because of a childhood memory normally like this is set up in childhood memory some of us have um, you know, more than others, but by, by going there and releasing it, you can make massive changes in, in a short amount of time. And one of the mums that has been watching Gabor's videos, a lot of his videos, has been saying to me, oh, Ilka, I get to the, I get to the end where he's, where he's somebody who say, well, how do I, how do, what do I do now? Now that you've pointed out to me that um, a lot of this comes from, you know, my first rejections in life, which may, may have been when you were three years old. So you can find that out. But the, that's a great question. What does she do now? And um, my one of the mums that comes along to our calls is just going, find, find someone to tap with, you know, find a tapping practitioner. <laughs> because you can go and, and particularly, if I, like for me, like I'm pretty biased, but I do believe Faster is T is 
um, leading the way in how we can release these uh, these things from the body. We, we're very, very well versed in how the mind works. So how you're doing this visually, how you're doing it auditorily, how you're how you're doing taste and smell. That's my dog in the background, actually. <laughs> the plants move. <laughs> um, you know how you're doing all these things in your own mind and and we're also um you we have this beautiful tapping process which can help you to release it and and lots of other processes too that really get to the subconscious on a very deep level so yeah, and to, to work that we do to find yeah. the memory sometimes the memories aren't mm -hmm. obvious like we can yeah. be, this is why we say our kids are our greatest teachers because it's the, the triggers that come up for us. So, mm -hmm. um, so the anger or sorrow or grief that mm -hmm. look like they're happening in the present moment, yeah. but through a series of questions and, uh, and going deeper and being able to find that past memory that links to what's happening in the present moment yeah. and, then being able to uh, go through the process and release it and change the perception, it it really is life changing. Yeah, it's it is, and it has ongoing effects in your life that are like a big ripple, like a tiny tiny little tapping session, and it just ripples out into every part of your life, and you'll notice start to notice that, uh, gosh. I, I stayed calm. Like, you know, even a simple thing for me, what just came to me is like in the, when I, before I started Faster of Tea, I, if a police car drove past, for example, in the traffic, um, I would start feeling guilty. I was, my dad did get pulled over a lot when I was a child and he was a bit of a speed demon. So that, see, these are where the memories are linked back. So, um, and I would get nervous. I would get, I would get fearful. So, so I'd have a little flutter in my stomach and I've, I've talked to many people and many people have told me that they feel exactly the same. So these days though, I, if that happens to me, and this is just a kind of one of those ripple effects that I actually had to notice. I, I got actually pulled over in Brisbane one night when I was at one of the fast through tea things, because I was actually, it, it was raining and it was dark and it was, I was, I was swerving a bit in the road trying to actually find where my exit was. And they thought I had been drinking. So they, they pulled me over and um and but it was a it was a major revelation to me because it was the first time in my life I'd been pulled over by the police and I was kind of like I actually looked down at my body because I was like oh my god no reaction no reaction where's my reaction like I couldn't feel the the surge of fear I couldn't and and this had happened my whole life up until that point so it was just it was just incredible and I just talked to them very calm and I said oh no I just you know I couldn't find my exit no I haven't been drinking and um you know they did the thing and yeah it was it's, amazing it was just absolutely amazing to me though because uh, yeah a similar thing for me just recently I had a family event oh, yeah. and um in the past when I heard about the family event I would have straight away gone into my head and been uh, uh, thinking 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 okay I don't I don't want to go how am I going to get out of this what excuse can I come up with but really I should go shouldn't I and and all these stories I'd be telling myself over and over and over and then make an excuse to not go so basically lie um but uh, just recently, there was none of that, none of that. I was able to calmly just go, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'll be there and, uh, and calm at the whole event. Um, very, very different to how I would have been in the past. And it is actually delightful. A number of times throughout the event, I noticed myself being calm at things that would have really um, made me feel nervous, anxious, and I probably would have been, um, getting to the bathroom as quickly as possible and, um, you know, yeah. crying in the bathroom or tr just trying to regather myself, calm myself down before yeah. going back out into the crowd of my family. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's, it's really freeing when you recognize these things. <laughs>
It's, it is absolutely, absolutely. So, it, you know, we, we, we say that, um, we tell you this these, these because Joe and I have been at this tapping uh, for a very long time. Like I've been doing it for seven and a half years and Joe has been, you know, tapping on herself and coming along and let, changing childhood memories and releasing um, stuff from her subconscious. Um, for a long time too so it's it's for it, it's a it's kind of a lifestyle and you know many of the ladies do come and they've been tapping with me now for some for I think coming up to nearly two years so we have a way that you can come and just join us and tap once a month once a fortnight and now exciting if you didn't get there last time we have got a half hour every Thursday night for free so you can come and uh start using this amazing process and it, because i'm tapping for everybody it's just a camera off um you we're just using the chat box we're eventually going to put these into a into somewhere where you can listen to them anytime but as we begin to make them you can join us on zoom and just start using this beautiful tapping process and changing uh, yeah, changing how you represent yourself inside your own mind. <laughs> yeah, and, and the work yeah. we do here at The Awakened Parent, um, we don't do this because we were amazing, brilliant, wonderful, nurturing mums. Yeah. We do it, you know, th this is where, well, for me, that's where I really learned about myself and the driver to change was um was the challenges I had with my kids. Yeah, yeah. I, I I mean, I just had another, like, again, here we are, here I am. I've been working on my triggers and my my stuff for, um, you know, yeah, seven, seven and a half years or so. And it, my daughter was here the other day and I got myself into a, what I call my dad trance. So I go into a bit of kind of lecturing mode and I, again, I'm like watching myself do it and I'm so much better than I used to be, but these patterns are so ingrained. But the beautiful thing is that A, I was watching myself do, do it, B, I could pull myself up quite a bit and just go and actually say that. I said quite a number of times, oh my God, I'm just being my dad right here. Um, I'm, I'm doing this, this kind of way of speaking that he used to do to me, which I did not like. And I, now I'm doing it to my daughter. And, um, and I started tapping on myself. I mean, this is the difference now. I started tapping on myself. We started cal like calming down. Um, I was actually able to get some tears around the whole thing and tap. And then eventually my daughter got some tears as well. And it was really a different interaction than what we're, we, we, you know, had in the past that could have ended really badly. And then I ended up, um, you know, saying to her like a couple of days later that please, please, next time I do that, please just tell me to shut up. Like, I don't mind. I don't mind if you do that. And she's, and I said, I'm just so happy that you're able to come to me with anything. And you're also able to talk to me and, you know, tell me, mom, I don't like it when you do that. And I hope that, you know, I always want you to be able to do that. And so we have this beautiful connection because she said, of course, mum, of course I know that. But for me, who never felt like I could open up to my father and never felt like it was okay to say anything about him to his face, like, yeah. like I really feel like that's a never. I know there's no such thing as never and it's not true. But like when I get in my triggers, I really feel like that. So, so when she says that to me still I go oh okay that's right because she didn't have my childhood but often we can think that our children feel like we felt right and that and that's very very painful to think that to think that I'm inflicting the same amount of pain onto my child that my father inflicted onto me well at the time when I was feeling it in those memories I mean these yeah. days I don't I just don't have the charge around those kinds of memories and obviously I need to go in and clean up some more stuff because it was there a little bit and I'm still doing the behavior so this really, you know, our childhood patterns, I mean, I'm so getting back to Gabo Mate, I, having done this work for seven and a half years, 
like I can't tell you how much I know childhood influences us and still we because I see myself repeating childhood patterns every single day still after seven and a half years of tapping on myself and um, especially when I'm triggered especially when I feel like maybe my daughter thinks I've done something wrong so that brings up the I'm in trouble trigger the oh god sorry you know I shouldn't be me trigger and it's very small now it's very different. And you can see how the way I interacted her, with her is very different. Like back when, like Joe's saying, this is this is why the work for me has been, my children have been my greatest teacher too, because back in the day, I'm in my dad's trigger. I don't, I'm not looking, I'm not watching myself doing it. I'm just doing it. Yeah. And I think I need to do it. <laughs> and this is, you know, this is how life is and you need yeah. to do this and da 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 <laughs> You know, like there's a very big difference between how I sometimes fall into those triggers now, um, but I've got a way of pulling myself out. And that's what the ladies on the call are learning as well, is how to, how to change these things and how to have different interactions with your children. Um, even, even when the triggers show up, even when your behaviours show up. <laughs> save my plant. <laughs> I'm going to save my plant. Just hold on. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's it. like the difference between uh, but like being able to have that awareness of what's going on inside yourself mm. and uh, yeah. sort of like step aside from it and look at it rather than just be in it and have no awareness of it and how cool like what you said I just want to go back to like being able to receive those words from your child when you know when to to give them permission to say to you oh you you're just doing your dad trance now or, or stop it you yeah. you're going back to your four-year-old self like that's pretty amazing to be able to receive that yeah it is it is and I couldn't have imagined um yeah I mean I, I could I could get if I was in a trance or you know if my dad if my dad was in a trance if my dad was triggered and um it's absolute like in that moment I can pretty well tell you there's absolutely no way in hell what I would have ever spoken up yeah same um, for me yeah yeah so so it's that it's that that's the real deep stuff that we're you know and I've cleared so much of it that's why I'm able to do this now um otherwise and and it shows this is why clearing up those childhood traumas is so important I think we had that as our um title for the Facebook live like if you don't oh no that was another one we were doing but if you don't um like heal it, you hand it down is, is Ooh, one that yes. I've, yeah, yes. I've heard. And a lot of the conscious parenting um, people use that line. If you don't heal it, you'll hand it down. So it's, you know, heal it and uh, the pattern ends with you. The pattern ends today. The yeah, be, right be the one, be that one, that yeah, courageous one. one who chooses to end the generational patterns. Yeah, and it is, it is like courageous because there's a lot of anger comes up when you have to, you're the one why can't they be the one to to heal the generational pattern yeah um why can't yeah. they be the one why do i have to do it yeah that that can bring up anger so then we've got to work on that anger as well um so there's there's so much to this but um we're really excited to to join join with you the link is there how do they how do they, we've, have we created an event? We've created a um, a post that will have the link in it. Yeah, and, and yeah. so it'll be 8 p.m. Uh, Friday night, Brisbane time. And uh, yes, there, there will be a link. I will here, put it below this we'll, video. We'll, we'll, also, um, yeah. we'll also post uh, around 7.45 on yeah. Friday with uh, another copy of the link. Yeah, and yeah. You can come in and join us with your camera off, with sound off, and um, and just watch with us. Yes, I'll be I'll be sharing my screen, and we'll be uh, watching it from, um, yeah, 
it's awesome. Comfort of our all, our lounge rooms. <laughs> and yeah, as Joe said, it's uh, it's only going to be up for three days. And yeah, if you miss it this time, I, I don't know when you'll have another opportunity to see it because they're going to screen it to groups in that first. So the personal screenings will be the last off the list, which is a, probably a good idea. They're getting it out to communities, which is awesome. Yeah, and if you can join yeah. us um, tomorrow night, Thursday nights for our uh, thirty-minute tap-along sessions. Uh, last week was it? It was my husband's not on the same conscious okay. parenting yeah. page as me. My partner, my partner. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this week uh, we're doing patience. Uh, yeah, losing my patience. Yeah. <laughs> Who does that as a mother? Who does that ever? Yeah. Who does that? <laughs> ah, only many 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 times many yeah. times i was a homeschool mum, so oh my goodness and they think the homeschool mums are the ones with all the you know, oh yes you well you must have more patience than me no i didn't yeah. <laughs> and <Yeah>. very little <laughs> but, um yeah yeah again oh. sometimes i did sometimes i didn't but it's it's finding those links back and um clearing clearing what's there from your own childhood when your parents didn't have patience so we'll be we'll be talking about that yeah. yes but they're very generalized tapping sessions so um i'm doing them for everybody and they're a lot more they don't they don't get anywhere near as deep as i can go in the in the sessions we do on the calls but they're still great they're still a great introduction so i'm excited to be bringing those to you yes yay okay, okay. thank cool. you we shall yes thanks for being uh, here we'll see yeah. you again next wednesday or this thursday and friday yes thursday night tapping and friday night with gabor mate awesome awesome have a great okay. week bye. yeah bye